Okay, here we are. We're going to do a quick demonstration on the Yezu Fusion FTM 100DR. This is a digital radio newly introduced by Yezu. And uh, it's a pretty simple radio. Um, very, uh, very user friendly in some, some instances. Um, so we'll do a quick rundown of the radio here for you guys basically explain a couple things for you um, the AB button here you'll see the AB button that basically switches um, the bands VHF to UHF either whatever you're configured in either memory or on the uh, VFO uh, if you push and hold the, the AB button it sends you into um, uh, dual watch for that particular band the TXPO button that's your power button, and it's also your tone squelch button. As you can see, squelch tight, squelch tight. Okay, uh, the VM button, of course, is uh, you know you can switch it back and forth between uh, um, basically the VFOs. And if you push it and hold it, that takes you to your memories. The memories is very simple if you want to store your memory you just come over here and hit the display button it'll store it and then you can tag it you want to actually tag it before you store it uh, kind of figure that out the hard way so tag it then hit your display button and it's stored hit the back button to get out of it um, the DX button this is your uh, wires X button it'll actually send out a ping we won't get anything because we're not on uh, wires X right now, so we'll just hit the bat or the DX button to, to shut it off. Well, it, I can't remember. I think it was the DX button, but we'll have to wait for it to go through the cycle because I don't remember how to turn that off. <laughs> but uh, it's a very good radio. Um, I like it so far. The wires X function is. Is phenomenal um, it's it's considerably like echo link except uh, all the node information comes up on the screen you can see that in the other video so this button next to the DX button is your uh, group mode button basically when you hit that it's gonna ping again and it's gonna try to find anybody that's in group mode um, and you'll see it comes up with uh, it basically if somebody comes up you'll be able to display them but uh, nobody's gonna come up because we're not on that uh, not on that function so and then the squelch button of course is for a squelch and it'll also go to um, voice but I don't have the voice module in this radio of course the back button you got your band button band button actually will let you um, skip it and scan and you'll see that there and that's it it's a very simple radio um, it's not too bad and then to get into the menu basically you're gonna hit the display button that'll take you into the menu the, the there's several that are very important at TXRX that's gonna have your um, uh, anim analog mode select it's gonna have your mic gain AMS TX mode I keep mine on uh, auto digital squelch type digital code uh, location service all that stuff and then uh, the other big one is signaling that's a pretty important one it's got the tone squelch frequency in there squelch type um, and then uh, DTMF memory all kinds of nifty stuff in this part and also the WX alert and then uh, What was it? Oh config of course is pretty pretty important RX coverage um, What else the APO timeout timer mic programming FM and step repeater shifts that was really important for me because a lot of the area was kind of funky so a lot of 440 stuff that is on simplex here um, and then 
What was the other one? Oh, the options. The options has got your Bluetooth in there, and there's one other one. SD card, APRS. I haven't messed with the APRS. I don't intend to. So, and Wires X, of course, and that's uh, all on manual. So, should be default. Your scan, uh, dual watch stop. You know, basic scan functions. But uh, all in all, it's a pretty cool radio. So, hope you enjoy the video. If I can answer any questions for you. Feel free to uh, comment. If not, uh, don't. <laughs> Catch you later.